This is episode 125 of the Gold Squadron Podcast. I'm your host, Dion Morales, and today I'm joined by William. I couldn't think of a nickname in time, Hagwood. Uh, hello, everybody. And we are not joined today by Marcel because today he is Marcel. He got engaged today, Manzano. Ooh. Congratulations here. I did I did prepare I did prepare for this. Got a little, little ring shot there he put a ring on it so congratulations to marcel and kayla please clap those of you in the chat let's get some gumboats in the chat uh for marcel and kayla congratulations to them and uh they are celebrating today as they should be but we will they won't be at league tomorrow but they will be at our um what you call it there's Wave championship? A, yeah, yeah, the championship. The thing that we're, we're playing a tournament on Saturday. They'll be there. And we'll be there, too. Well, I'll be there. Will, you won't be there. but No, I'll probably not be there. <laughs> Though, you know, I did realize, Will, that I forgot to give you the, your Team USA t-shirt while you were here. And then I brought you sure it. You did. I, well, here's the thing. I brought it on <laughs> Sunday. I brought it on Sunday. But then you didn't uh, come on Sunday. No, I was... That uh, happened to well, you, you and John. I was like, I was like, oh, I got your shirts today, and neither of them showed up. I was, I'll, I'll see you at some point. <laughs> One day. <laughs> All right. Well, for those of you who maybe noticed or maybe you didn't notice, I put a post out on our Discord and our Facebook, and I asked. Um, basically, today is about lists using the Nantex and the BTLB. Y-Wing, those of you who are watching live, you will get to see the, uh, you know, us looking at them uh, through Yasby. And uh, those of you who are at home, we'll do our best to make sure that we're reading everything for those of you who are driving your car and just talk about, um, talk about what the lists do. We're, we're jumping right into it, though. Today's all about Nantext and Y-Wing lists. And yes, I promise you, this is more than just the Sunfac and Anakin show. There's a there's a lot of in there. I think there's a lot of cool stuff in here, Will. Right? Uh, yeah, definitely. I kind of sound like I'm trying to convince them. Right, 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 guys. <laughs> right. It's so cool. I promise. <laughs> I think there's a lot of cool things in here. But uh, basically, we put up a, a Google form and just said, "Hey, you know, what? T give us a Yasby link and give us the." Um, like why what was your your thought process in this and what i did here is i did i honestly i'll be honest i didn't get to organize through all of them we got about halfway because there was a lot and honestly we're not even going to be able to probably get through all of them that we marked uh but we'll do the best that we can okay is that a deal deal all right Let's party. Let's switch to this view. There we go. Okay. So I figure we start start with a little Anakin love. I know that I didn't say this was going to be the Anakin show, but it, it, it's alphabetical. We're starting with A. We got a couple of different Anakin lists, and it looks like the archetype that most people are looking at for Anakin is some type of torpedo carrier. Torpedo Annie. Initiative 6 torpedoes are good. I mean, easiest way to get locks, that's for sure. All right, so in this in this build here, it's uh, Anakin in the Y-Wing with a Plasma Torpedo, Afterburners, and he's joined by Obi-Wan with the Delta 7B and the R2 Astromech, and then Rick with Predator R2 at 195 points. Pretty standard, right? Uh, the the Afterburners <laughs> is weird on that. I guess it's to close range and pick up locks, though. Maybe if you're like, oh, I'm just out of range. Well, actually. Yeah, because they only have a three bank. So three bank or three forward boost mm -hmm. to get uh, to get range. Okay, I could see that. That makes sense to me. And this other one, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read the description here. It says, Anakin smashes you in the face with APTs every turn. That's advanced proton torpedoes. And I was like, mm -hmm. wait, wait. Okay, well, here, here's the loadout. It's Anakin with instinctive aim, advanced proton torpedoes, R4 astromech, and a hull upgrade, followed up with Plo Koon, 
sense R2 Astromech with CLT and another BTL Y Wing. It's R2D2 pilot with expert handling, ion cannon turret, Ahsoka Tano gunner, and Chancellor Palpatine. Will, what what is this list trying to do? <laughs> uh, so you have R two D two flying around with uh, Palpatine, coordinating, uh, coordinating Anakin like reloads, red reloads. So then he can clear the stress. And um, Plo Koon is basically pulling off the hose, uh, reference disabled tokens, so that uh, Anakin can keep the one charge of advanced proton torpedoes every round. He doesn't even need to take a target lock even because uh, he's got instinctive aim. So he's got essentially a free action. I mean, he can target lock. <laughs> right. <laughs> if, you're coord- if you're coordinating with Chancellor Palpatine, uh, especially if you flip over the other side. Did we find a uh, use for the other side? No, because you would coordinate a red action and then they would gain a stress. So... Uh, the Chancellor Palpatine here is just to do like regular coordinates yeah. or just make R2-D2 like bad to shoot at because it does right. have two force. It's got Ahsoka and Chancellor Palpatine, so it can hand out two stresses per round. Well, the first round, I guess, and then one stress after that. Um, that's very interesting. I I like the I like the Anakin. I don't know what R2-D2 is doing in there because uh, he doesn't Anakin doesn't need the coordinate there. But theme. yeah, it's theme. Maybe. Yeah. I would. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> um, but no, that is interesting. And like, man, this is the this is the Anakin that needs afterburners, so he can close into that range one all the time. That's right. So one of the things I found interesting was the choice to go with instinctive aim. I I'm, because you are initiative six, but I guess this gives you a chance maybe versus uh, other initiative sixes if you're losing the bid. I mean, most of the time you are right. This is one ninety nine. Right. So yeah, but interesting choice, right? I mean, <laughs> it's it's definitely a one trick pony, right? It's a one trick pony. Once Anakin goes, your list is hidden like a wet noodle. But if maybe you can take out a couple ships, yeah. it might work. Maybe, maybe you just gotta take out enough ships before Anakin goes down. That's all. You know, there's Easy. a guy. There, there's a guy that shows up at League Night with with this and says like, "Listen, my goal is just to smash one ship, and I'll be happy." <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to think of. I think the only other people that can take instinctive aim and torpedoes are scimitars and Luke. I don't think anybody else can. So it is like a one-off. It's an, it's. I mean, instinctive aim. This is actually a pretty cheap Anakin. Actually, seventy-two points for that. For nine health, five dice range one. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Let's keep going down the list here. We got some broadside lists coming up next. So the description here is broadside hands out ions via torps and turrets while Obi and Plo reap the harvest. So go ahead and read that, Will. If you can read that, Will. What number are you on? That's number six. Oh, okay. I'll make it real easy then. I got to squint to see your screen. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is broadside with ion cannon turret, ion torpedoes, veteran turret gunner, and R3. So you can shoot ion cannons twice. So primary and then the side arc is that's where he likes to have his turret is to the side as his name is broadside. I uh, can take up to two locks um, for like ion torpedoes and double modifying his... Uh, side arcs there has Plo Koon, uh, 7B R2 and Obi Wan 7B R2. Uh, I think those are the are pretty much the new standouts right now, right? Uh, Plo Koon and Obi Wan. If you're not running Anakin, yeah. I mean, Plo Koon just works so well with the the Y wings, whether you're reloading or you're uh, doing like the Seventh Fleet Gunner. I think I think we're gonna see the age of Plo Koon. He's People wanted to make him work when he first came out, and then not so much. And now he, not, like you just said, he has something that he really synergizes with now. So. Yeah, I think this is what this need this this build needs a seventh fleet gunner, for sure. Well, we we might just come across something like that here soon. Where was it? It was it this one. I may have forgotten to highlight it. 
Uh, nope, that's not it. Try again. <laughs> Computer, go. <sighs> no, that's not what I'm looking for. Well, he he's in another list somewhere. Oh, it's this one. Ah, uh, that's jumping ahead. Well, well, you know what? Whatever. I make the rules. I mean, we're not really going in any yeah. particular order. I mean, I guess. I was, tr I was trying to be organized. Okay, this is a list with broadside and matchstick that I actually really, really like. Okay, so matchstick, for those of you who don't remember, his ability, he's another BTLB Y-Wing who says, while you perform a primary or turret attack, you may reroll one attack die for each red token you have. And in the description of this, uh, this list... It says everybody locks matchstick in the first turn, so he has three rerolls um, with his two attacks. And because you have Rick and Wolf with their abilities and upgrades, you really don't need the their target locks to get rerolls. And with Broadside's ability, you uh, you're gonna get damaged because it's a modifier in and of itself. So it's matchstick. With R4 Astromech, making it a little bit more maneuverable. With Ion Cannon Turret and Veteran Turret Gunner. Rick Ole with Predator and R2 Astromech. Broadside with R4 Astromech and Ion, Ion Cannon Turret. And then Wolf in the Arc 170, naked at 199. I really like this list. Yeah, I mean... It seemed like this... it just seemed well-rounded. Uh, yeah, other than I, I mean, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the R2. I don't, I don't think you need it, or the excuse me, the R4. You definitely need R2. Um, but it's basically just taking everybody, all these like the most efficient pieces, like broadside Rick and Wolf, super, super efficient for their platforms, and them just helping out Matchstick uh, to get in three rerolls on those double taps. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, just pure efficiency. Everybody can. Everybody's getting like two or three modifiers. Republic efficiency in. list. Pretty much, right? This is this is what people would call beef. It's got too much health. Oh, here we are. The birth of Republic beef. Yeah, I might yeah. take this to league tomorrow. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> bookmark. Uh, actually, I, we'll I really back. like this one. I like this is one of the ones that when I was going through, that's why I was like, wait, I know that there's a, a broadside list that's stuck in my mind. I really like this one. Uh, I we'll want to find something else to do with those five points, though. Can we oh. really get something? How about uh, you want to take a second and try to tweak it a little bit? We, it's, we make no, the it's just, it's just, I just don't like. You don't like I the mean, R force. I get it. Like I get it. <laughs> I don't. I get oh. it, but I don't like it. <laughs> I. I mean, match, honestly, Matchstick doesn't mind being stressed. He doesn't care. Um, and Broadside, shouldn't be K turning. So like, I don't think you need it. But I don't know what to do with those five points. Um. Hmm. See, this is, here's here's the thing: is that Matchstick, I would actually rather have expert handling than. Uh, the R4. Oh, snap. We could... If you got a bunch of rerolls, why don't you barrel roll out there? There you go. We could do that. We could do that. All right. And then yeah, we're at 193... Three points. We could uh... put Commander Cody on Wolf. We could... Yes, yeah, so that that's where my mind went, too. All right, because he's the highest initiative in the list. Initiative three. Uh, well, Rick is, but... Oh, Rick is three, yeah. That's fine. fine. Sometimes Wolf, sometimes Wolf, uh, well, see, that's the other thing is that Wolf shoots a lot, though, too, because right. he's got that rear arc. He's going to be rolling dice no matter what. So, yeah, that's not, that's not terrible. Uh, Rick really doesn't need anything. Passive sensors, a fire control system, unnecessary. Yep. If you wanted to be, no, that doesn't work. Never mind. I'm glad I didn't say it. I thought it, <laughs> realized it was dumb, and didn't say it. All right, but I think I think there's potential here. I think there's potential here in this list. We'll see. All right, we'll, yeah, we'll, I like we'll, that. we'll go back in, into into the order here. Now we've gotten to uh, Chertek lists. Chertek. Okay. So he Strap is one. Of, he's one. <laughs> he's one of the Nantexts. And um, I, there was a lot of really interesting uh, combinations with him. And I think we were talking about this uh, off off air, Will and I. And basically, people are looking at Chertek uh, because he is cheaper than Sunfac 
and you still get to use ensnare, right? I mean, that, yeah, that's uh, the idea. Four, 49 points for ensnare and I, I four. Okay. <laughs> like so, if you're like against uh, threes, like one, two, and threes, you are some fact. So <laughs> like, right. Like you're, you're, yeah. you're an ace. You're the ace against half the list or half, not the list, uh, but half the ships in the game. So, and bargain uh, prices. <laughs> what is what is Sunfax seventy eight? Something like that. That's twenty nine more points. That's almost two vultures. That's a vulture and a half. <laughs> All right. Well, Fair. this this list here uh, says uh, Chertek helps the vultures and Seer to deal more damage, and K two B four have a good synergy with the Nantex tractor. Uh, it can use. You can swap it out a different uh, a different tactical relay in there, but in this one he wants to use K two B four. Anyway, this is uh, Chertek in the Nantex with Ensnare and Crack Shot for a total of fifty points. Then Captain Seer in the Bellabub here with K two B four Impervium plating and Solus one, and then one two three four five Vultures. W what do you think of this, Will? Well, I ran. Uh, XY's Dooku Vultures with K4, K2B4 uh, down in past times, and uh, that was I was testing the waters of uh, the <laughs> combining both tractor and strain to uh, into a monstrosity uh, for my <laughs> opponent, and this is essentially doing the sameish thing. Um, I, I like that fat seer out there. Um, because you get Solus One, you got to have Solus One from bringing a bulb Yeah. Um, do you get no grappling struts in this? Not in. Uh, not in this one. I was gonna say you could you could take off an Impervium plating and get grappling struts on them. But yeah, I I do think there's two philosophies. Uh, the TA, what is it? TA one seven five. Yep, that was the one he uh, he was saying that he can uh, he could swap to. Yeah, that's a that's a very offensive um version of it and k2b4 is a very defensive version of basically the same tactic um because you adding that evade is like super clutch it's actually really it's really hard uh my takeaway from running Diku um and k2b4 was that it's really hard to kill those vultures in like a certain amount of time yeah, actually, uh, right now in the chat, XY, the Australian System Open champion, is in the chat giving you a shout out. He's like, "Hey, Will, I hear you." Oh man, uh, amazing list, dude! Excellent uh, uh, archetype. Two thumbs way up. And of course, <laughs> congratulations. That, absolutely. All right, let's let's keep exploring uh, some different ideas here with Chertek. So this one, uh, I basically put it in the archetype. Uh, architect archetype wow architect uh archetype of quad separatist it says oh oh sorry i got it. go ahead <laughs> go! i just saw the list <laughs> no uh, Chert yep. it says here chertek is well costed and you can chain tractors with the petroniki ace 404 with advanced proton torpedoes can just del could, could just delete ships regularly uh and is even more effective against tractor targets grievous is just strong uh, and has some extra beef. So let's go ahead and pop that open. Will, take the wheel. <laughs> you should be able to read uh, it better now on your screen, by the way. Uh, no, I'm keeping up with you. Don't worry. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, just, I mean, just like I said, it's two Nantax with Ensnare. Uh, once, once you start doubling them up, you can start doing some really goofy stuff of en ensnaring somebody who didn't move their arc so then they can ensnare somebody else. Uh, but yeah, this this was the list I built uh, before uh, the podcast was uh, Separatist Force, um, and I like it. Could use a uh, could use Afterburners instead of Shield Upgrade. I want to boost in for those juicy Advanced Proton Torpedoes on uh, DBS four four uh, with his ability. That's a six dice Advanced Proton Torpedo. Look out. Uh, against against a tractored opponent, oof, um, not good. That's not good for them, anyways. Oh uh, yeah, I think this is beautiful. Um, this might actually be another another bookmarked for sure <laughs> archetype. Click that little star. Um, <laughs> like four, because uh, four four is the cheapest ship, but like 
I don't know, it's a very interesting archetype. I think there is something to double Nantax, but finding the third ship in the double Nantax or third and fourth is uh, anybody's guess right now. Now, I want to take a second and talk about Gravatic Deflection. Because one thing that I am seeing out there is people arguing back and forth the value of it. So if you guys aren't familiar with it, it is an elite talent. The Nantax do have access to two of them. And it says, while you defend, you may re-roll one defense die for each tractored ship in the attack arc. What do you, what do you think, Will? Is it worth the five uh, points? Mm, if you're bringing multiple uh, Nantex, I think it is. Like at a certain point, it does have uh, like a increased value because you're getting double re-roll. Mm -hmm. uh, which means you can take like the same shot uh, multiple times, but the it has diminished values because if you only have um, the, the problem that you don't want to get into with these Nantex is that you had to take the tractor token to change your arc or to reposition, but you didn't find another ship at range one in your turret, so now you're just sitting there with the tractor token. At least graviton gra gravi gravitic. Gra gravatic. Deflection? Gravatic. Gravatic. Uh, gra gravatic deflection. At least that uh, like, kind of makes up for your reduced agility. Um, I think it's kind of a handicap. But, like I said, if you, like in, in this list with multiple ones, it does have value, kind of. It's hard to say. It's hard to quantify it i'll say that much yeah for sure i know like i i go back and forth too on the value i think it's going to take some testing i'm sure somebody out there might be able to figure out some way to break it but right now not entirely sure all right the next one here is something when i saw it i was like this looks kind of scary this is a uh, chertik chertik and the boys <laughs> okay so this is a chertik with ensnare and predator with one, two, three, four hyena class bombers, the techno union bombers with plasma torpedoes and one uh, and landing struts, and one of them with DRK probe droids sitting at 200 points. Will, this is where you say something. I'm evaluating the uh, <laughs> multiple plasma torpedoes. That was not that would not be the munition that I would choose to spam multiples of. So I think you can get diminished returns with it. Uh, agreed, absolutely agreed. But I mean, they they have a base to attack anyway, right? It's just a different uh, a way to maybe kit it out. I would agree. I would like to see another munition spammed with maybe we might come across something like that here pretty soon. Maybe. But I think this is this is a, an archetype that I think we might start to see, right? Is in a Nantex out there, which we we've seen it um, with the vultures, is a Nantex doing its job to tractor things and then spamming lower initiative other stuff that can just be more effective uh, defensively. Oh sure, that makes sense. All right, let's roll down. I think this is our last uh, Chertek squad, at least in the Chertek block here and this is kind of a variation on xy squad just just a smidge um, with some of the responsibilities just being moved around this is chertek with intimidation and ensnare then count dooku with sense and a scimitar title and four trade federation drones and uh, the brief here says, looking to man maximize the benefit of ensnare without the price of Sunfac. Sense helps Chertek line up a bump on an ace. Then the drones follow behind to take out a target without their green dice. Hey! Oh! Congratulations! Please clap. Please clap for Marcel Manzano. The en newly engaged... Marcel Manzano, no, not Marcel. Yeah. Before, before we uh, we go too far, mm -hmm. the the real question that everybody wants to know is: Yo. Am I allowed to stream the wedding? You know, actually, I was just saying we we got back. We went to a comedy show tonight, and I just got back, so I'm a little tipsy. 
So <laughs> <laughs> I'm tipsy. What should I do? Podcast. Right. So we're gonna have our wedding in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Ooh, you should know all about that uh, destination oh, yeah. wedding. So whoever wants to make the trip out there, you know, you're all San Juan, Puerto Rico. But but we were thinking, like, wouldn't it be cool to have like a prenuptial nuptial at Worlds? You know, I like, uh, would that would be like the first X Wing wedding. You do know I am a um, uh, ordained. I am ordained. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> hey, hey, let's do it. Like we but, can but do like a, a a legit X-wing wedding at Worlds, <laughs> <laughs> and then we can do like the nuptials at at uh, San Juan. <laughs> we'll discuss this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> And that's not just the tipsy talking. That's okay. We'll talk to you tomorrow when you let me know. <laughs> no, actually, we really were saying like that would be hilarious. Awesome. All right. I see a lot of chert tech going on here, but I I see too many Count Dooku, not enough seer, and not enough drones. Well, we, actually, we actually hit that already. You came oh, the in. The one that I flew? You can't. Well, I don't. I don't actually don't know which one you flew. I, I so was I flew busy chert on tech with ensnare. And then I had uh, Seer with the TV guy. Yeah, yeah, we, exa- we came. We we actually just went through that yeah. list and Soulless, and then five drones, so it's seven ship list. All right. Well, we just finished the church tech section. We'll, we'll make a, like a round, a round all all the way about. So the next, mm. let me tell you, the next list on on our, <laughs> I laughed so hard. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read the brief here first. It said, um, "It said, if you want to roll nine agility dice with each Y wing and not play the game at all, you do this. You never said it had to be good, and I I named it the Goji Defense Tower. Okay, it's absolutely hilarious. I literally I literally laughed out loud." Okay, so this is Goji in the BTLB Y Wing. It says, while a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 defends, it may roll one additional attack die, excuse me, defense die, not attack die. Oh my god, that actually would make it good. Uh, additional defense die for each friendly bomb or mine at range 0 to 1 of it. So it has Goji with. Basically, these are four Y Wings with all the same oh. kit out. So you got. Ion Cannon Turret, Skilled Bombardier, R4 Astromech, Delayed fru- Fuse, and Proximity Mines. So the idea here is you stack eight, you know, four Proximity Mines followed by four more Proximity Mines, and you're defending by those. So that's eight plus one with your regular one giving you nine. But if you were defending from range three, you could actually get ten defense dice. Wait, 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 what? what? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Anyway. laughs> Wally, Wally friendly ship at range zero to three defense. Uh huh. It may roll one additional defense die for each friendly bomb. Amp. Yeah, but they got to be at zero to one of nine different ones. How do you do that? That you uh, have sk- you, can, you can you can do it to where uh, if you like crisscross, they can all drop a proxy mine on the same exact spot. Yeah, and then they just K turn and try to do it again. <laughs> And you got, and you you got skilled around it with you got, the ion turrets out. But you have skilled bombardier. So you drop yeah, you, you want, drop dude. regular, right? You could drop regular, one forward, skilled bombardier, and it would be in the same spot. And you're just basically riding around doing circles around your binds. <laughs> yeah. It's it is ridiculous. It is Wait, wait, that's Stupid. <laughs> no. No, dude, you're going to have a bunch of defense and we're going to have to run over mines. No, man, <laughs> look at my 10, <laughs> look at my ten defense dice. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never shoot through these Y wings. <laughs> uh, give me some gumbos in the chat if you want me to run that tomorrow at League. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if I have I enough have proximity enough. mines. I got proximity. I got like eight. You only need eight. Uh, You'll be fine. Uh, only. Mm. How do I get gumbos in there? Like at gumbo? No, I think it's uh, GSP. That didn't Gumbo. work. Nope, did not. <laughs> Let's see. Do gunboats come in the uh, the way? Wait, wait, wait. I, mean, I only gunboats. came on the cast because somebody wanted me to say calculate. Calculate. Yeah, I, I... count. Count. Calculate. Calculate. Is there a proxy a proximity mine in this pack? No, 
No, there's, there's not. not. Sad. Okay. I haven't opened my ship yet. That's what I'm doing tonight. Oh, um, yeah. Did that that is nice absolutely though. hilarious, though. When I I I, I was hmm. literally laughing out loud when I saw it. I was like, "Holy crap!" Um, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Are no, you rolling nine? Nine, Defense but dice. if it's at range three, it's 10. At range three. Eleven through, obstructed range through three. Through a rock. Yes, exactly. Gas cloud. <laughs> It'll never hit me. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> no, but you have to be at range one of it. Yeah, so? I know. I know. It's it's so you're just hard two and around the proxy mine. You know, at that fine. point, at the, and literally at that point, you just like bump into each other. You who needs a focus token? You got nine dice. Correct. Yeah. Just bump into each other and castle up. No, but then that's how you get disqualified from a tournament. <laughs> Okay, castle up full <laughs> turn, and then do a circle, and castle up on the other side of the mines, and then go around. Well, you just gotta, yeah, you gotta, you gotta line up the figure eight. Oh, huh. there you go, and just never stop. But like, I'm moving ships. You come over here. <laughs> yeah, this is this is, this is uh, not healthy. Six. You're paying. What is this? Twenty four points. Twenty four points for for a meme. Essentially, it's hilarious. It, it might not be a meme because if you get those ion cannons pointed in the right direction, eventually you're gonna ion someone into those, into that, into, into that, that stack of, of four proxy mines. Oh yeah, my like, goodness! Oops, oops. <laughs> now I gotta roll eight <laughs> dice and take whatever. Yeah, I gotta take eight damage plus an extra sixteen, whatever I roll. Uh, is man? Yeah. Okay, somebody just threw something at me. Was was that your fiance? Well, it was none of us. Hmm? I don't know, but I got <laughs> somebody screen screen cap Marcel's face right now. He look he looks a little scared. All righty, we'll we'll, oh, we'll keep moving on. Throw candy at me. Yum. Next, we're gonna hit up some Cherry more candy. match stick lists here. So oh, you're breaking up the only... Check one, two. Can you hear me now? So, yes, um, better. All right. So this is – next we're hitting up some matchstick lists. Uh, matchstick, we talked about him a little bit already, but I'll go ahead and repeat his ability. He says, while you perform a primary or turret attack, you may reroll one attack die for each red token on you. So the idea that's revolving around here, this is essentially a type of sinker swarm, arguable whether it's a swarm, um, with the torrent target locking matchstick – so you have matchstick with ion cannon turret and veteran turret gunner having those re-rolls, which I think this is this is going to be a very common thing for matchstick is a turret and veteran turret gunner to be able to just have those double modified. Or not – one of them will be double modified assuming you have a focus and both of the shots will have some type of modification. Then with sinker, in this build he has C3PO on, uh, on sinker with shield upgrade and three torrents. Um, Will, earlier we were talking about, you know, a different version of this, which you should probably have four torrents. Yeah, I was trying to take off enough upgrades to get the fourth torrent, but it left matchstick with only a dorsal. So that's, that's not good. I don't think matchstick needs sinker. No? But I mean, it's, but I get the, but uh, sinker, sinker is there for the... The torrents, not for, yeah, not for anybody else. I mean, I would like to see the, uh, um, I want to see the numbers on the C three PO rerolls on a ten health ship. I'd be interested to find out because uh, you, you, everybody always goes for sinker right away. So you should go after and then deal with the torrents after. So if any, if there was a place for C three PO, it makes sense on sinker. Yeah, so C-3PO for the Republic says, while you defend, if you are calculating, you may re-roll one defense die. After you perform a calculate action, gain a calculate token. Yeah, I mean, just the defensive die helps there. Um, another version of it that somebody gave us is right here. Let's go ahead and drop it in. This is, again, broadside. Uh, sorry, this is broadside instead of matchstick. This was the one I was looking for. With an ion cannon turret and Commander Cody with your standard sinker swarm. That's sinker naked with four uh, gold squadron troopers. Which one of these do you think is better? 
the matchstick version or the broadside version? What do you think, Marcel? Uh, I think the the um, the put him on the spot. He's Rick Ali version. Yeah, <laughs> Rick Ali plus one extra plus one extra V yeah. nineteen version. Is that allowed? Uh, sh- sure. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't my question. I was gonna try to lead to that, uh, but so he, here, okay. So here's my question. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll lead you where you were going. Deal, already. Yeah, I, I can barely hear you. Honestly, you, you sound like metallic, and I hear William perfectly fine, but you, I hear like every other word. Oh, that's strange. Out there in TV land, are you guys getting that as well? Let me know. Let me know. We might have be having some interference. Are we being jammed? We're being jammed. Hey, William, do you, do you hear him good? Yeah. Does it mean that I got to restart? <laughs> no, no. It, it, uh, you sound like you sound like a Android on the Fritz, Dion. Everybody says okay, you so sound fine over here. Sound is fine. Everybody, so it must be a. Well, we're. Let me go. Ahead. Well, you're gonna have to edit this out. We're, we're gonna jump out of Hangouts for or you. You jump out of Hangouts, Dion. You come back in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, jump on and jump in because this is really bad. Okay, you gotta get out of here. We're we're doing just fine. Okay, well now I gotta write it down a timestamp. All right, live people. (laughs) I can't understand the word he's (laughs) saying. Is is that better for you guys? No. Is is it no? (laughs) This feels like a practical joke. All right, everybody, TV land. All right, I'm going to try to close some things on my computer, and maybe that will make it better. It might be because, I don't know. Could be a few different reasons. Let's actually try closing that. This is real exciting TV. I know, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> and try to do that. Uh, but now you guys... Uh, can you guys see anything? No. Sorry. Give me a minute. Allow. Something is wrong. This is fine. <laughs> is this any better? Is this any better? Marcel. Now you got two now you got two can, people in here. Can, can, is that better, guys? Yes. That is better. Okay. The second one's much better. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the second Dion. Can you hear me two times? Am I echoing? No, you no, should mute the fir- fir- mute the first one though. If you do yeah. um, both I, up. I d I, I don't though. I I no, no, you're good. that one. Okay. Well, anyway, that, that's that's why that one's not working because that one's busted. We still yeah, see bust. <laughs> it was okay. So where yeah, I lost my train of thought start, here. Start start scene. We asked we. So Marcel, yes. Between the matchstick version of the Singer Swarm and the broadside version of the Singer Swarm, which do you prefer? The Rick Match- Lee version of the Singer Swarm. Okay. Well, if you had to bring a Y wing. Oh, do you do you want broadside in the action? <laughs> I love um, I love I love how he's hurting. Oh no, do my you, heart. Do you, I mean, with the broadside, you get the extra well, torrent. I, I would say the broadside is better. Yeah, I would agree. agree. Yeah, broadside is better because the extra torrent is good. Um, broadside is okay as it is. No, I, I like the uh, I like he's the no secret Rick, sauce here. But... No, he's definitely no Rick. But uh, I like the secret sauce of putting uh, clone commander on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, because even though he's going to hit very well, you're averaging at least two or three on his ion cannon turret, unless you fully mm-hmm. blank out. Uh, the problem is, whoa, I got a big forehead. You can't, uh, you can't always shoot your ion cannon turret. Sometimes you end up just shooting a primary, and uh, missing that primary is not so big of a deal when you got Clone Commander Cody. And then you follow up with like a range one sinker shot. All right, I'm going through the agenda. Have we gotten to uh, to the to the really toxic stuff yet? No, not is, yet. This is this okay. is our this is our subject. This is all we're talking about. 
the whole we're on, time about about Y wings. Well, no, I mean, we're, I mean, we're, on, we're, we're, we're going. On, click on the we're on click. list eighteen. This is. <laughs> got, Open up the link. 18. Okay, I'm on the link. There you go. Get we're on. on. <laughs> I, All right, I so I'm about to click 18. Numbers. We're gonna pull up 18. All right, as okay, as 18. you as you do this. So uh, next. All list. right, everybody listening on the car and everywhere else, um, it's all William's fault. So <laughs> of course it is. Ooh, I built this Ooh, one too earlier all yesterday. Right, so Marcel, you, you, you can go ahead and read this one. Sure, I'm I'm seeing it on Twitch though. How come I'm seeing it on Twitch instead of? on your screen oh sorry okay i thought you had it up i i, I have twitch up i mean uh, okay anyway well you're bringing it up on the other screen it's red squadron bomber it's a btl y wing with an ion turret and a seventh fleet gunner seventh fleet gunner is the one that lets you shoot with one extra die right correct gotcha and then another one exactly the same way then you have obi-wan kenobi with calibrated laser targeting and R2A6, which I think is a waste of points. And then you have Rick Oli with R2 Astromech, which is the opposite of a waste of points. Um, so, so before, uh, uh, while you gather that, let me let me read Seventh Fleet Gunner. Wait, 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 wait. Seventh Fleet Gunner. Go ahead, read it, and then I'll tell you what. Because I've right. flown against this a million times. It just happens to be an arc instead of a Y wing. Right, and there's a big difference between the arc's rear arc and the Y wing's side arc. Mm. Uh, anyways, Seventh Fleet Gunner. While a friendly ship performs a primary attack, if the defender is in your firing arc, you may spend one charge. If you do, the attacker rolls one additional die to a maximum of four. During the system phase, you can gain a disarm to recover uh, the charge on it. Uh, so. Uh, as a note, it's just easier to get an enemy in 180 degrees um, with your primary and ion versus the arcs forward and rear guns. Well, what, what else do you think about this, Marcel? Um, like, well, I think I already said it. I've flown against this already. With arcs. <laughs> uh, with <laughs> arcs flying this and uh no no seriously what I, I i you know it's strong actually i did flow it, it flies a lot like the arc one so what you get into from the is the arcs have a little bit more meat to them usually they can only fit one seventh fleet gunner instead of two so I, that's that that's like an immediate upgrade right there right because mm -hmm. um yeah when you're doing a dual arc and then two to um, either Jedi or Naboo, whatever it is, you're usually only getting one seventh fleet gun around there. Mm -hmm. So that's an automatic bonus. The ions, I do agree with you, they're better because you can reposition those arcs versus just having a front and back arc. Less mm -hmm. health, but then again, you're getting um, no crits. I mean, they, they've got some... Yeah, you're also... Tech. You're... Uh... Your uh, board space is lower too, so uh, mm -hmm. that's the problem with the arcs. They're easy to find on the board because they take up so much space. I, uh, I actually think that that's a benefit to them in that particular list, though, because at that particular oh, that's fair. In that particular list, they're more blockers than they are um, trying to find board space, right? Yeah, like they're the only like if you're taking a weapons disabled to recharge, you would prefer to be bumped. And not shooting oh, sure. and not getting shot at, so that I actually give it more to the arcs. But oh, overall, I think this is a better version of it because again, the ions are better. You're mm -hmm. getting two seventh fleet gunners now. Can you proxy both? Not proxy. Can you proc both seventh fleet gunners? Uh you can. Yeah, and so you can. You, so you can get an Obi one with bullseye that at range one that gets. Well, at range one, at range one, he would already have three dice. So the seventh fleet then, gunner would only you'd only be able to trigger one seventh fleet gunner. But at okay, that's what I was asking if you can proxy because uh, it has a proxy, it has proxy, an additional proxy. die to a maximum of four. But you could be a range two Obi Wan with someone in your bullseye and roll four dice and add your fifth for calibrated. Yes, you certainly can do that. Uh, also, Rick could shoot. Uh, 
a four dice attack, no problem as well. Yeah. I guess the issue that I have with this is um, the um, R2A6. Like, I'm not a big fan of R2A6. I, I just, it, regen is just a little bit too good, a little bit too undercosted for it not for to be part of the list. Same amount of points, too. Same price, yeah. I mean, yeah, R2A6 I mean, does like, help you line up bullseyes, though. The, the difference yeah. between a one bank and a three bank. And boost and bear roll means that you can. No, I get it. I get it. I mean, I understand. It's just I'm, I don't agree with it. But I, understand. <laughs> I mean, I, I I understand as well. Like you, like I put like I said. Put some sense in there. Let you know 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 where you need to be. But um, right. you know, I'll, I'll I'll just leave it at that. All right, we beat this one to death. All right, yeah, we'll just leave it. We we lost our our streaming connection here. Uh oh, for a second. They really they really hated us. Yep. Should be looks like it's back. Okay. Um. So the next one here I want to hit is a little bit of generic. Generic Nantext. We're going to put up the... Uh, we'll put up this one first. Right there. Generic? What, what number is this? This is number... 22? 22. 22. I can uh, see where you're... <laughs> I have the advantage of seeing where you're clicking. Yes. I'm out of beer. Okay. So, 22 uh, has uh, here two Nantex... Starfighters. These are the Pet Petroniki Petroniki Arena Ace. Two of them with just ensnare for a total of forty-eight points each. Then two Vulture drones with energy shells, and then General Grievous with crack shot Solus one and Impervium plating. Uh, the brief here is this list is all about control. You don't want to end up in. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. Wrong one. This sure number, is. That was number twenty-one. <laughs> Uh, the two yep. vulture droids act as bait and a, and as a distraction, and the Nantec aces shoot forward um, to outflank the enemy. Grievous outflanks on the other side. The Nantec aces throw out tractors to create kill boxes and reduce agility for repositioning the enemies and to have forward shots. Fewer shots, excuse me. Thoughts? Uh, not bad, honestly. Wait, seems seems pretty solid. I know I'd be a little bit worried about those vultures. Like if you if you set this up incorrectly and you leave those vultures out to dry and they just get popped before being able to do anything, before yeah, the other guys I, engage, that could that could be bad. This is almost identical to the uh, the two Nant or to the the sep separatist force, and um, I think I would rather have one one good ship than just two vultures especially because in this list if one vulture goes down the other trade federation can't use network calculations right like i, I don't like i don't like pairs of vultures i want at least three or four all right and this is another uh another generic nantex list here uh, but it uses bombardment drones. We have General Grievous again with Imperium plating and Solus one. Two bombardment drones with proximity mines and delayed fuses. The Stalgison Hive Guard, that's the initiative three, with just ensnare. And then a single vulture droid with energy shells cause basically cause cause they had space. Right. <laughs> and the idea here is the list is all about control. You don't want to end up in front or behind the bombers. And you don't want Grievous flanking you. Uh, you can be blocked by the single vulture and the Nantex contractor you. Um, and all kinds of bad stuff. Do you think this one is better or worse than the last one we just talked about? Uh, I mean, this is just trying to do something different. Uh, tractor, beaming, tractor beaming you in front of the bombardment drones so they just slap a proxy mine on you. Mm -hmm. Worse. 
I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't. I, I, as much as I love the hyenas, I've actually not put a bombardment drone on the board yet. There's just, it's not worth it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just breathing there, Marcel. But apparently, I'm breathing. What? What? It's, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> all righty i mean that's it's got some tricks it looks fun let's continue here. It, 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 it's it's league fun it's league fun all right well let's let's get to everybody's favorite geonosian sunfac i got a few different sunfac uh archetypes here i can't I believe you guys went off. to Chertek. Chertek is the best geonosian we talked about him you were you were busy being <laughs> all engaged and celebrating uh <laughs> it's not my fault. I do I went in alphabetical order. I'm sorry. All right. Anyway, Sunfac. What's this list, Will? Uh we have Sunfac with Ensnare and Predator. Um Sunfac, by the way, he's the initiative six. If you're not familiar with him, his ability says while you perform a primary attack, if the defender is tractored, roll one additional die. Now that needs to be tractored up to their size value. Um so with Ensnare, you can tractor beam. Small base ships. And he gets five dice in his bullseye, three dice range one, or excuse me, four dice range one in his turret. Anyways, he's got uh, with him uh, DBS 404, uh, loaded down, advanced proton torpedoes, energy shells, shield upgrade, and dark one probe droids with landing struts. And then General Grievous, outmaneuver, Imperium plating, and Solus one. Uh, I, as much as I love 404, I do not trust a 53.1. <laughs> no. I mean, this is an attempt at like a triple ace squad for the separatists, right? Is essentially what this is. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, you know, it's also 53 points though. Sure, tech. Oh, oh. Now, see, that was Marcel's opportunity to like. Sure, tech in. is forty nine. Sorry, thank you very much. Oh yeah, Ooh. oh you get a bid, you get a better bid. I'm sorry, sure, tech is forty nine. Thank you. <laughs> if you put him on anything other than forty nine, you're wrong, and you should like hit your head on a wall or something. The chat. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Brandon in the chat saying We're... initiative four ace. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that it is triple no, it's ace. Not an, it's, it's not an it, ace. It's, but this is, it's kind of like the archetype. That's the feel that it has. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Grievous it's wants to be an ace, right? Like, he really wants to be an ace. And there's there's enough things that are playing right now at Initiative 1, 2, and 3 that there there's plenty of matchups where Initiative 4 sometimes is enough. I mean, no, and, and, and Grievous is enough. In it. What makes Grievous be able to be a better ace... And other initiative fours is exactly Imperium plating and Solus one because he's not always going to have he's not always going to be able to catch up and put put the ships that he wants to put in arc the higher initiative ones but that you know evade a crit plus uh, reroll defensive dice save they do outflank you I think that gives Grievous a special um, it gives them something that other initiative fours don't have so I think in yeah, Grievous is more. I think out of all the initiative fours, Grievous is the closest thing to an ace at initiative four than anybody else, hands down, in my opinion. All right. So the next one I want to touch on here, another another sun fact list, of course. I am definitely stalling because computers doing weird things. Um, is uh, this, is this the double scimitar? Yes, yes. So the brief here, and will I'll let you I'll let you read it here. Uh, but the the brief is looking for other ways to trigger to trigger. Wow, to trigger Sunfax <laughs> ability without ensnare. Maul can attack twice, so so the first can be the tractor beam uh, to light up Sunfax target. Nothing. Can, they don't think it's competitive, uh, but could be fun. Uh, so it is Sunfact with just Predator. That's a 56-point Sunfact, by the way. And then you got uh, Darth Maul and Count Dooku with heightened perception and tractor beam, and has a four-point bid. Uh, so it's trying to shoot both of the infiltrators at seven, hopefully tractor beam something, 
as so that Sun Fact can shoot at them. Because uh, uh, Sun Fact doesn't have Ensnare. It's normally, normally what he's tied to a 24 point upgrade. Right. This is interesting, to say the least. I mean, I, I like I like Count Dooku heightened perception check to beam. So having basically two of them ain't bad. But so uh, it just falls apart if it's just if it's just Sun Fact out there. It right, falls you, apart. You're wrecked. Real one quick. Of, one of my one. <laughs> One of my hesitations with I, I think the idea is interesting, but my problem is so all right so uh, Maul shoots right misses try again misses Dooku tries to do his tractor beam what if he misses too and you've wasted all these attacks and you have no tractor beams out there and some fact is you know hitting things like a limp noodle. I don't know. It just seems strange. Well, it sounds like it sounds like whatever you're gonna hit, you weren't gonna hit with your primaries then either. <laughs> I mean, maybe it just. I don't know. The double track to me, it, it seems interesting. I guess maybe instead of trying twice, like if you miss the first one, do you just try? I guess you know what you're right, Will. If you wouldn't have hit it with track your beam, you wouldn't hit it with the primary. It's a good point. Mm -hmm. Good point. Good point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there, uh, I think there is a secret no ensnare Sun Fact build, and it does involve either Count Dooku or Darth Maul with heightened perception and tractor beam. I just don't know about doubling down and bringing both. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, let's let's uh, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of having double infiltrators what if we have double nantech aces marcel go ahead and uh and read that one down marcel you, He's you're muted, muted. <laughs> I am muted. <laughs> so I just said the most interesting thing in the world, and nobody heard it except Kayla. No. So you guys are okay. The world is not as good off as it could have been, but I will continue. It's uh, 197, right? One in yep. So mm -hmm. it is over cost at with ensnare and swarm tactics with. Uh, Chur Tech, one in Snare and Predator, and then Dark Courier, Dark Courier, mm -hmm. uh, with Tractor Beam and Count Dooku at 197. Um, uh, uh, good luck. Uh, wait, what? Well, so let's. So, no, 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 no just, I'm, try, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying, I'm trying to think here, okay? <laughs> so, Sun Fact is not going to be moving last every single time. So he's got to be predicting if he gets matched up against an initiative six, predicting right. where, where they're going to be. Yeah. Sure. Chertek, I think Chertek is amazing. Uh, I think uh, 51 points or 49 points without the Predator, he's a steal. Uh, Dark Courier, actually, it's not bad, especially with Count Dooku, you know, being able to say, you know, I want to hit, I want to crit, I want to an evade. All of that is good. I'm just trying to understand... Um, at this point, and, and I get the swarm tactics to, to, to get these shots off early. Uh, do me a favor. Take Dark Courier and bump that up to 066. Now, 066 is after, oh, that's only after defending. That mm -hmm. doesn't help you much. Uh, I wish it was more like um, after you attack, but it's after you defend. I think this is this only works if you change Dark Courier, take take Dooku, Dooku out of the pilot and put Dooku into the um, into the driver's seat, and what, then why do you say why do you say it needs to be Dooku? Because if you, if you're trying to rely off the swarm tactics and shooting first, you know Dooku is the only one that really takes advantage out of shooting early, um, shooting early and being able to take an action if he lands. I think Dooku just because um, he has the force, three force, and also having the force. Lock. Yeah, that's fair. But um, yeah, I think if you want to play with this type of archetype, I think you need Dooku, or you know, drop the the swarm tactics and predator and put uh, Darth Maul on there. 
to go with, you know, four, five, six. But even then, you know, and, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong. Again, I wasn't here during the whole preamble of, you know, whatever you guys went through before I got here. But I don't think Sunfac is is good enough to to play at a competitive at a competitive like uh, premier level event without four or five other ships to draw the attention away from sim. So if you have him in a well, three, you know, you are, maybe four. You are so good at transitions. You are just so good. Am I? Because we have one last list for Sun <laughs> Fat here. No, I'm just saying. I mean, oh, no, well, but I mean, on, I don't no, know if you guys but, talked but about no, it or not. No, 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 no. I, We're I'm going trying, to. I'm trying okay. to segue. I'm trying to segue. <laughs> okay. So, segue. So Segways the, are good. The last Sun Fact I list segue here into the next beer. I don't know is exactly segue. what Marcel's talking about. And it is Sun Fact with Justin Snare with one, two, three, four, five, six Trade Federation drones with grappling struts. For a total of go. 198 points. And I will tell you, the, the brief in uh, for this list is, uh -huh. here's the brief. Start quote. It's comically better than anything that was before Wave 5. End quote. There was another part there, but I can't read that out loud. So, um, so just efficiency. So, Marcel, why do you think... This is so much better than the other ones that we've talked about. Okay. Well, mostly it's because uh, Sunfact style, right? So with with Sunfact, they have, the Nantex have one of the best styles around. But what they don't have is the double action, and they don't have a true repositioning. In order to reposition in themselves, they have to like uh, take the tractor beam and then pass it off to somebody else. And they and in in doing so they've got to change their arc and do all that. So what it does is it makes it in the initial engagement, like when you're when you're lining up uh, against the opponent, and you're coming in for you know once you get into the mix of things and you're at you know you're in the dog fight and knife fighting, yeah, sun is going to be great. But getting into that dog fight, um, sun fact needs cover fire. He needs somebody to be able to take to draw that fire and say if you're going to come at Sunfac, then you're going to have six ships basically coming in on you if you only have three ships maybe even if you only four, have four ships you're going to be able to kill Sunfac in range two and three before you before all the before all the shenanigans start so that's really what i was getting at where you know, that previous list with a three list sun fact, it's just not going to cut it because you're going to have somebody that, that has ordinance. You're going to have a, a, an initiative six wedge or an initiative six um, Anakin uh, Y wing or even an Anakin, um, an Anakin initiative six Anakin Delta seven and just come in and erase sun fact before he truly matters. Um, and this actually gives you that, that option. You know, you keep Sun back in the back, you, you get into the dog fight and then you might lose a trade, you know, you might lose a drone in the, in the, in the first in initial engagement. But then at that point, that's when, uh, Sun fact is going in and doing, you know, doing what he wants to do again, being in the middle of things, taking advantage of that really friendly dial taking advantage of the fact that he cannot be bumped and um yeah just 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 cause havoc so i think i think this is a really healthy list i like this list a lot you know seven ships is is solid and um i think this list you know I, and the chertek with a um seer chertek seer and five drones list are going to be two of the most uh, conniving lists around. Well, if we haven't talked about Snapchat yet, we we well, we're not actually we're focusing on Snapchat today. We're around. just talking you about get to, why we you get to Snapchat. <laughs> All right, so that uh, that closes the the book on Sunfac for now, and uh, there was one other list I wanted to touch on here, another pilot, and that was uh, a a. Burwer, I want to call him Brewer, uh, a Burwer list, 
Brewer Cret uh, that I actually thought looked real cool here. Um, this is similar to a, to one of them that we had earlier. So Brewer Burwer Cret is the Initiative 3 Nantex that says, After you perform an attack that hits, each friendly ship with Calculate on its action bar and a lock on the defender may roll, excuse me, may perform a red Calculate action. And this is Burwer Cret with Ensnare and Crack Shot, a Bactoid prototype with Diamond Boron Missile and Landing Struts, a Techno Union Bomber with Plasma Torpedoes and Landing Struts. Another Techno Union Bomber with Concussion Missiles. And another one with con Concussion Missiles and the DRK-1 Probe Droids. So the idea here is getting those DRKs out there, get the target lock, and be able to, um, you know, have double calculate potentially after Brewer hits something. Well, you wouldn't have double calculate because Brewers gives you the a red calculate action. Well, it's after the attack hits, so you could have had a target lock, done a calculate as your action, and then you perform. Oh, you can't perform the same action twice. Never mind. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that doesn't. But work. it lets you. It lets you. Uh, you don't have to take the the normal round off to acquire target locks. Truth. You could launch that drone and charge right on in. There it is. Double modify. But oof, eating, being tractored and eating a, a brewer shot, a diamond boron, a plasma, and two concussions, you're going to have a bad time. I don't care who you are. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe we could tweak this. Do you maybe not even need the DRK? I mean, I guess you kind of do, right? You got to set up those target locks early. I wish I I wish I could put a second uh, back to it in there to like spread the target locks around, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's helpful. Yeah, because if they blow up that one anyways, yeah, that's that's going to be interesting to see on the table. It, it looks really good if you're fighting like a falcon or a ghost or something. Don't wrecked. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, perfect list. Let's get it done, boys. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, but yeah, you're fighting like a swarm or something, or like just a couple aces. That's gonna be hard to pin. Hard. Good on paper. I think it's gonna be difficult in execution. Absolutely. So. There is a ton more lists in there, uh, and I'm going to be publishing the, the link to where all these are in the description. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in the chat now um, because there's a lot. Like there, there are a lot of lists, and I wanted to go through this exercise not because we're you know like, oh, send me your best lists. It was more to see what options are out there, right? Because there's people who play at lots of different levels. There are people who, you know, you're only looking for the most competitive all the time. Are you looking for theme lists? There's all kinds of variations in this doc. And uh, I want to make sure that people have access to it. Now, my question to you guys is, you know, we went through a lot of different archetypes. What do you think are going to be the most competitive archetypes for either the BTL? You know what? I'll go ahead. Will, you take the Y-Wing, and Marcel, you take the Nantex. All right. Uh, Y-Wing. You're going to see uh, the uh, two of them with seven fleet gunner and uh, turrets supporting, like, in quotations, two attack dice aces. Uh, that uh, Rick and Obi Wan was a good example. You can try uh, um, Obi Wan and Lumin, uh, not Luminar, uh, Plo Koon. That has a lot of synergy, so I think you're going to see a lot of Y wings and Plo Koon. Um, and if anything, um, Broadside. Broadside squeezing in a lot of list. He's very very affordable. Um, so if you you can legitimately get like a uh, what do I want to say, like a Republic four ship build, get a broadside, and then you get a couple good Jedi, maybe Wolf in there um, as one of the ships can, I think, really uh, compete with the other kind of four ship formations going on right now. But I, 
competitively, I don't think we'll see anybody but Broadside. Okay. There there's the hot take. Marcel? Um Yeah, I think the Nantex are great. I uh, after I did I did fly it twice and um it it's it's better than I thought. Like initially coming in and saying like it's got no repositioning, it's got no um and it's got all these deficiencies to it. I think the the fact that you can pass off the tractor beam to a friendly ship if you need to, and then you have a nineteen point ship that you can pass it off to, um, and makes a mistake or an error in in guessing where the opponent's going to be, not be that bad because then you're passing that that token off to a ship that's really not that meaningful. It, it, it's better than I thought. Um, however, I do think that that um, CIS remains a swarm faction, like Sunfac and everything else that's coming in in it, coming in with it, does not turning does not turn it into a an empire or one of those you know a um, first order something that's going to be ace heavy. It's, CIS is not did not all of a sudden become an ace list. You're not going to put together an ace list and succeed. I really don't think so. I mean, you could prove me wrong, but you're not going to do it. Um, <laughs> There's somebody know, the, out there shaking their fist at you. I will. Prove well, they, they, you they wrong. can shake it all they want, and I appreciate that because I, I that that's typically what I like to do is I like to have somebody tell me no and then prove them wrong. But I'm telling you no. Um, <laughs> And yeah, I mean, CIS is going to continue to be a swarm heavy, you know, um, the, the, the strength of the CIS continues to be around the Trade Federation drone. Then the fact that you can put a 19 point or 20 point with a strut is where the strength in that faction lies. It's going to continue to lie in there. So if you got a, if you're flying Chertek, which is my personal favorite, or Sunfact, which is completely fine, even at that ridiculous point. Um, you know, Will last week was talking about an 80 point tractor beam. He's like, oh, the 80 point tractor beam is completely worth it because of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was kind of a joke alluding, alluding to Sun Fact. But yeah, yeah, but I mean, it, I mean, Sun Fact is an 80 point tractor, uh, an 80 point mm -hmm. tractor that can also put out damage that same turn that he tractors. So, um, yeah, Sun Fact and Short Tech and a couple of the other, um, Nantex are going to be okay. They're going to be okay in a five plus list. If you're going to bring a CIS swarm, I mean, swarm, I mean, even saying a swarm. If you're going to bring a CIS list that has four or less ships, uh, you're probably going to have a lot of fun, but you're probably also going to have a very short tournament. That's my take. All right. So I'm excited to see what people end up bringing competitively. Uh, in the tournaments, we have worlds literally around the corner. Like we're we're about a month away from right now, and um, I guess this would be like if you haven't heard our plans for worlds, it's pretty ridiculous. We're gonna have all kinds of coverage. Um, we're gonna get to see really the where where the meta lies in October, um, because with not having any major tournaments from now until worlds i think it's probably i mean at least in, in recent memory and i could just be you know here's my hot take is this going to be the most unknown worlds that we've had up until uh so far in the history of x-wing is this going to be the most what most un mm. like like unknown yeah worlds going into it well i mean We've we've fully dissected. Well, I wouldn't say fully dissected, but we've had a lot of major tournaments since the last points update. Last points update was before Gen Con. Is that right? Yes. Because it would have been like August or July or something like that. July. July twenty ninth. Um, so we've had all these major events that we streamed, and like the whole world tour was this meta, right? So, for, I would say, 90% of the meta, we've already seen. And, like, can assess 
and like break down very easily. And then there is now this 10% wild card. <laughs> uh, and I, I'll agree with you there is that um, there is no list. Uh, there's no um, uh, Matthew Carey getting inquisitors to the finals <laughs> in Gen Con, right? There is no XY getting Dooku uh, to the finals at Australia uh, Nationals. Or wait, no, there's a system open. Yeah. Like we're we're not going to have that for the Nantex and Y Wing, so uh, this is going to be. Uh, I think that's actually exciting though. Like we we get to see if somebody can pull pull it off, right? Like you got less than a month to prepare. <laughs> you got to win like thirteen games um, at Worlds. Easy, um, easy. Yeah, so someone's someone's doing it. Like so, uh, that's that's the exciting part is that someone hopefully. I, I think it. To your I, point, you know, I, I, told, I, I, oh, I already told. Uh, let me let me ahead, finish, finish, finish your thought and then I'll. Uh, my, my thought is that I I am very excited to see an innovative list win worlds and not just the old meta. All right, go ahead, myself. That was the only. Wait. That was the end of my thought. Does an old meta even exist when you have a completely new wave? I, I guess I mean, it does if you're taking like the old it just depends, stuff it, that it, used to be good. It depends, right? So basically you have three different options as a competitor going into Worlds. Um, some of them being smarter than others. But so option number one is the thought that with this new wave, it's a, it's a brand new meta, right? You decide like, all right, I am going to... Um, you know, I am going to I, I'm going to take a list that counters the the best stuff in the newest wave. That's one way to look at it. Part two is say I am going to fly the best stuff in the best wave, or number three is I'm going to fly what was good in the meta that I'm more familiar with because I know that I'm good with it, and you kind of hope you hope that you don't get a weird matchup. Like those are essentially your three options, right? Yeah, definitely. You you heard them well? No, but I I what I did here, I I'll, I agree with. <laughs> All right. Well, sounds sounds like we're having some some issue audio issues with Will and and Marcel again. But I know the world out there can hear me, and the recording is good. Um, before we go too far, uh, and, and you're doing up, just fine. We could hear you. We could, we could hear you, uh, dilapidated robot Dion. <laughs> what is going on? Oh no, it's freezing. Anyways, Marcel, what was what your thoughts on Worlds Meta? I think, um, yeah, and sorry, Dion. I, I, I check, mean, check. I really couldn't hear anything you said other than a couple like metallic sounds. But um, you know, I, I, I think. Um, you know, I think World's Meta is going to be... I don't, I don't even think there is a World's Meta. You know, everybody's going to come in with something completely new. And if it was just the Y-Wings or if it was just an Antex coming in, then I would say, like, okay, you can have the old Meta coming in and doing something. But um, the fact that you have Nantex, you have Y-Wings, uh, which is our okay. But then you have a couple of those upgrades on there, which include the, um, the Perceptive of whatever, the one that lets you... Booster, precognitive right? reflexes Thank you. precognitive and then you get snapshot i don't know if we even talked about snapshot yet in this particular no we're uh no one put snapshot on any of these except for snapshot and commander cody on a y-wing okay so let me you know let, let me give you an example of snapshot I, I i threw this over to bartos and bartos all he did was reply with a uh uh a shocked face and a tongue hanging out <laughs> Um, so you can, you, you can literally do this. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that we're going to have to deal with. And, and now this is something that, that, that I came up with just like on a dime, but other people are going to come up with something better. It's like Captain Seavor with Snapshot, uh, uh, Pioneer, mm -hmm. uh, the pi Pioneer guy mm -hmm. with Snapshot, which is the one that lets you shoot while you're on rocks. Mm -hmm. And then you get five, uh, no, four additional tie fighters with snapshot now you have six snapshots uh five of them with three agility one of them jams they can all ignore asteroids they can all sit on rocks and still shoot because of the pioneer i mean you're gonna have stuff like that like now you're dealing with 12 shots of, of the potential of 12 shots in one turn plus getting jammed it takes that torkel um list and like amplifies it and multiplies it and then somebody else is going to come up with something even wackier and crazier 
Um, so the fact that you have all of these different cards coming out five weeks before Worlds, they're 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 they're, they're literally proofed and tested against the new wackiness that's going to be out you know <laughs> so you know the stuff that i was flying you know whether it's the rebel thing or the um republic thing that i was flying like yeah i knew what it, it could do against that but you know i take that same wedge and put it in put it on a list and all of a sudden that wedge is initiative one and it's being repositioned into something where he's going to get killed in one turn you know it's not the same thing you know so um and same thing with like the double repositioning uh jedi you know like a supernatural anakin with you know the two ship lists with supernatural anakin and then something else that never dies um and there's there's so many different things around that there, there is no meta so i think this i do think that this world is going to be the most um even if something that's already been out there like the three inquisitors plus jenden ends up winning it it's gonna it's gonna win in a different fashion than than it than it has been in all the other stuff so, that's been current. So Marcel, let me let me ask you. Uh, yeah. you you've uh, how many, you've got top sixteen at Worlds before, right? A couple times, yeah. Uh, would you rate that uh, everything you just said about yes. the Worlds meta mm-hmm. uh, is? Do you think it's going to be easier or harder to get into that top sixteen? I think it's gonna be. <laughs> Uh, it's a trick question. So, <laughs> it, is it? No, I, th- I think it is because I think it's going to be harder simply because of the um, the number of people that are going to be allowed into worlds versus other worlds. For example, mm-hmm. I think, you know, uh, I've only been to worlds twice. Last year I missed it. Uh, I, I had something else to do. But uh, the other, uh, I, I made top 16 and then I made top 8 the other time. And the top 16 one was the harder one, but that's because we had nine rounds of Swiss and then they made a top 16 after nine rounds. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you can imagine nine rounds of Swiss to make top 16 is, 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 is pretty uh, hard. Um, and I ended up making it with, I think, seven and two. So I was seven and two um, when I made that top 16. But uh, now the cut is five and two, which is easier than a seven and two, right? However, um, by far, yeah, yeah, by far. So last time I had to be, I, I was seven and two and I made top 16. And I think there was one six and three, which was Paul Heaver, who, who got like the final uh, 16th spot. But now a five and two record will probably get you into the top 64. So it'll be easier to make the cut. But then after top 64, you have 64, 32, and then 16. So you have to win three more matches to get into that um, round. So you, you got to go you got to go five and two and then win three more in a row in order to get into that same position. So that's an eight and two record. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Because of the amount of people that 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 are going to play and the you know, amount of people that are going to make five and two, uh, I think they said on um, on Reddit, uh, Matt Holland mentioned being somewhere around the 600, 550, 600 range for worlds. So again, when you do the math, the That's Swiss awesome. countdown, it's going to be if you want to be in the top sixteen, you're going to have to have a minimum record of about eight and two. The number of people sounds amazing. That's a, quite the challenge. Yeah, it's uh, it's not going to be easy, and you're going to be trying to get an eight and two with a uh, truly like untested wave. You're going to have new stuff coming in, and the question is: Is anything? How much is the wave five going to impact uh, the existing wave? Because the existing the exic- the existing meta. The points aren't really being updated. It's just something new is being added, but the current points are staying the same. Can you guys hear me? All right. Uh, I think we lost. Uh, uh, we lost Dale. No, okay. I see. I see him clicking. <laughs> um, what? Do you, uh, what's your uh, Marcel? What's your over under on Y wings and Nantax in the top sixteen? Uh, I'm going to set it at. Four and a half. I'm gonna say zero Y wings. I'm All gonna right, so say under. 
one, two Nantex, and I'm going to say two snapshots. So it's still under 4.5 for new stuff in the top 16. So you, so you do think that it's going to be old meta stuff then? Yeah, I do. I do. At the top. I mean, right, that's I, refined and can get that eight and two. Yeah, I think it'll be two Nantex, and that's going to be a CIS orm. There's going to be two snapshots, uh, most likely Scum and Rebel, and one Scum, one Rebel, and then every, like the other um, 13 will be stuff that we've already seen. I can oh, that it. sounds yeah. fantastic. It's sounds great. All right, so... I'm back. I, I was able to get it, get it fixed. Okay. Well, I'm super excited to see what happens in this world's meta. But before we go too far, there's somebody I need to give a shout out to. A couple shout outs I need to give uh, before we close out tonight's show. Uh, first is to Rathios, a.k.a. Stephen Kim. Actually, he's probably Stephen Kim, a, a.k.a. Rathios. But most of us know him by Rathios. Um, he is the current uh, cur- curator, the upkeeper of the Yasb 2.0, per, my personal favorite squad builder in X-Wing. And um, he finally uh, put a donate button on the uh, on it. So I want to just show it to everybody because it is... Oops, that's not working. Let's let's try to see if I can get this to work. Uh, it's kind of hidden. Let me, uh, let me work some magic here real quick. Boom. Boom, because if you don't know to look for it, you're not going to find it. And I want to make sure that if if you're interested, you know, no pressure. I'm just letting you guys. My job is to make sure that you guys know that these things exist, right? Like that's that's why I'm here. So right here, uh, if you click on the about the about section, is how he would say it, right? Because he's from Canada. That's just me being silly. But um, right there, there's the donate button. Uh, I sent him some cash earlier today. Um, I absolutely love Yasby 2.0. We use it all the time uh, for, obviously, our show and for the stream and for all kinds of other things. So just uh, shout out to uh, Rathios. And if you want to throw him a couple bucks, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Um, does a lot of a lot of work to uh, upkeep that. And, of course, with the transition to 2nd Edition and all of that. Also, uh, shout, shout out to the 512th, the Austin, Texas X-Wing group. Or Dale. They, I think uh, he's in so bad. They gave mm-hmm. me um, the shirt, so I wanted to uh, say a big thank you to them. And uh, thank you guys so much for uh, for your support. Dang it. Did this cut out again? Check, 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 check. Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me now? No? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. I just heard the, can you hear me now? That's the, like the last part. Of, that's the only part I heard. Looks like com- like my internet today, man, is is being real, real jumpy. Yeah. Just sorry right. to everybody. I think, that, I think that's a sign. I think, we, I think we need to shut this down. Okay. <laughs> all right. <I'm> a, <laughs> I, I can talk about lists all day. Of course, of course. Um, but before we go, what I wanted to do is I wanted to hit our um, our positive life choices segment. We we haven't done it in a couple couple of weeks, and I think it's important uh, for accountability and all those things. And I posted in Discord um, a couple days ago that me personally, I have been. Uh, on the struggle bus since uh, basically a couple weeks from before the world tour, I was spending so much time getting ready for it that I like I stopped running and then I tried to run. I did run a couple of times while I was on the world tour, but it wasn't enough to balance all the crappy food I was eating. I mean, it was delicious, but I overindulged a bit. Um, and I basically over the world tour and past then I gained like 10 pounds and uh but 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 i'm tr- i'm trying to get back uh you know back to it i did run today before uh before the show that felt really good to do that was hard i was like oh man i ran i ran 3 miles and it was like the hardest 3 miles i've run in a long time but uh again just you know positive life choices uh at least you know trying 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 to do my best 
Uh, Marcel made positive life choices by getting engaged. Congratulations one more time if you didn't catch that at the beginning of the show. Hey. Uh, Will, anything you want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't have to. You, uh, what? No. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, no, no, no. Will, I'm no. going to pressure you. Tell, tell me your good life choices, man. What? I, no. I, 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 no, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, Will. Okay? And I'm looking at you, not at that. All right, I'm gonna th- I, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, you're my friend. Good. Yeah, you're my friend, and I like you. Thank you. No, you you truly are. Like like you really are my friend, and I like you, and I want you to do well and be well. And um, like I'm gonna hold you accountable. You know, when we went to Madison and you were out smoking, and you're like, well, I had a long drive. I'm like, eh. And then, you know, you know, that I, I, I can be a bad friend and be like, oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. You had a long drive. Yeah, you, you've got stress to deal with. But you know what? I'm going to be a good friend and say, like, you know what? Deal with it. Don't smoke, man. I, I want you to be alive till you're 50 years, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old. Stop smoking. Okay? Just Just quit it. So I'm going to call you out every single time and I am going to give you a hard time every single time I see you smoke. And that's because I care about you. If I didn't care about you, I would not do it. But, you know, I I want you to be, I want you to be healthy and I want you to be happy. So um, put that cancer stick to the side and uh, I'll buy you a beer. How's that? That's not any better, but at least it's not. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly better, but no, I said that's not any better. Yeah, I know. Not any <laughs> but you know, but no, no, but seriously, well, I like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep giving you a hard time. So don't, don't take it the well, wrong way when I do. No, I mean that's why this is why we do the positive life choices to, um, because it is hard by yourself. Everybody needs that kind of uh, encouragement, um, even if it is just from uh, your own guilt. Um, or a good friend helping you out. Um, yeah, uh, he's, he's referring to that uh, I definitely had to get some smokes for the trip down to Nova. Um, I, was, I was freaking out. I, uh, Dion, you fly, you've been flying a lot. Yep. Uh, how would you rate Midway in the accessibility onto an airplane? <laughs> Pretty good. Accessibility onto an airport. I will say, with this world tour, I have been to so many more airports. Uh, Midway is, because of its small size, is okay, but the security can be really slow if you don't got TSA pre-check. So that that can stress people out for sure. Yeah, because I I can fly in an airplane. What I don't like is going through Chicago traffic to get into... Uh, the TSA at Midway or O'Hare for that matter. Um, but like between, uh, basically, yeah, I was like freaking out. I had to, uh, all the things I had to do, uh, I was trying to live up to, uh, your expectations and it was, uh, a literal nerve wreck in there. Um, but no, since then I haven't bought, um, I haven't bought any packs of cigarettes. So I got one pack of cigarettes bought since, May, May eighteenth, I think. So, what's May? The fourth month? No, I can't even think. May's five. May's five. So one pack in four months. I think that's doing pretty good. Um, I don't plan on buying any more, so that's good. Went to multiple X Wing events now without uh, smoking. I went. I went all pastimes, hyperspace. Didn't smoke. At all that we can right. I did I did notice. I did notice that. I was like I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. Will does so I've, I've done <laughs> I've done multiple X Wing tournaments uh that I played in that uh I'm not smoking then. So and I have got uh um what was I gonna say? Uh driving. Driving I'm getting a little bit better at. Like that's like long distance driving and stuff. So um no, it's going good. I think so, anyways. Step by step, right? As long as long as, long as you're always trying, right? That's that's that's, that's what we can do. 
So that's been Positive Life Choices. Um, we're going to, let's see, what time is it? Oh, I got so much stuff to do. If I didn't have so much stuff to do, we would we would jump to a list of the week and a question of the week. We're going to push it to last to next week. I know I said that the week before. I'm so sorry. But but I, I have too much stuff to do oh. right now. I got too much. I mean, this, this whole episode was kind of list of the week, though. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. The question of the week was, how should I build Y-Wings and Nantex? <laughs> And you know we were critiquing this the whole time, so you can look at it. Look at it. I, I'm sure the list would have been that stuff anyway, most likely. Um, so thank you everybody for watching. And um, m my plan here for every podcast is to rock a different shirt that I've been given because I have I have a few um, that I got before the world tour, which this was one of them, uh, and done some that I got during the world tour. So I'll be I'll be shouting out the shirts uh, that I wear for each podcast and. Um, if you guys, if you're, if you're a squadron, you're making a shirt, let me know. Uh, I'll buy one. I, I think they're just super cool. And since we have a video format, you can show them off a little bit. So here, I'll, I'll, I'll model a little better. I did wear pants for this cast, so I can stand up. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, what? What? I did wear pants for this cast. Hey, some, sometimes I wear shorts, okay? Man, <laughs> okay. Where, where's your mind? <laughs> anyway, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, if you want to... Um, support us. Lots of different ways to do that. Remember to subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch so you guys can get notifications for all of our streaming, including our absolutely planned, amazing, oh my god, it's going to be the greatest X-Wing stream of all time. The amount of planning going into this X-Wing stream is out of this world. Out of this world. I... I want to talk more about it, but at the same time, I'm nervous to talk about it because if it doesn't work, then I'm going to be disappointed. But so far, talk preliminary testing, it. talk about it. Talk about it, and then, um, then then make it real. Okay, so... I mean, it's simple. Just talk about it, make it real. We're going to be attempting to create in NFL red zone type experience for X-Wing. Talked about it a little bit. Um, but we're going to have connected to, directly connected to our stream, three different tables. Yes, you heard me. I said three tables. I got some awesome staff who I'm going to be talking about, not this week. We'll reveal that before Worlds. But, oh, man, I am so pumped. For the people who are going to be helping us out. And then also we're going to have some people who are at Worlds who will be helping us out. We'll talk more about that all later. Um, but yeah, should be pretty cool. Hopefully it works out. But uh, that's, that's more to talk about later. Um, <laughs> I, I see people, oh dang, three tables. Oh, <laughs> you have no... <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell that i'm super excited for worlds because i i'm pumped um and oh there's 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 other secret stuff that's happening at worlds that i can't talk about oh there is one thing i do need to mention um and this is just straight just us making sure that we're following the rules um at one thing for content creators uh who are at worlds we are not allowed to give out swag of any kind not stickers or cards or T-shirts, nothing at Worlds. Not allowed. So wait, wait, um, wait to people watching or just to people at Worlds? People to people at Worlds. So, and, and there, there were pretty, they were very specific, and they said, "Don't try to get around it. Don't be that guy." Um. But so that's so just no, so no one can hand out cards at Worlds. Well, Gold Squadron cannot do it, and anybody else who's a content oh. like an, an approved content creator. Oh, there, I see it. I see it. A wink. I I see it. No, you can't I say gotcha. no. <laughs> I'm we're you, not giving we're not giving <laughs> anything real. away at worlds because we can't because then they will ask us to leave and oh, with we, the with the amount we of definitely will not be giving anything away <laughs> i'm being serious we're not giving anything away 
<laughs> okay. All we, right. We, I, we totally understand. <laughs> this is terrible. You're terrible. Uh, <laughs> uh, we will be doing stream giveaways, though. Uh, somebody here on the stream. Can't you bribe them? Um, the the <laughs> No, I can't bribe them. I mean, I could try, but it's not worth it. I don't think so. Maybe. It was sad because I had things planned to give away. And then when I saw that clause, I was like, man. Well, we'll make sure we get cool stuff in people's hands, not at Worlds. We'll figure it out. I'm sure there'll be a cool after party or something. There always is. It's a five-day long event. <laughs> Somebody in the chat here. Sold Guadron. Sold Guadron <laughs> can give away stuff, all right? <laughs> Sure. Anyway, this is getting this no, is, we're no. getting a little slap happy here. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't mess with don't mess with the mouse. <laughs> thank you everybody for listening and watching at home. Thank you to everybody for your support. And of course, thank you to our patrons, our number one uh reason why we can do all the amazing stuff that is happening at Worlds. Because I'm telling you, uh the budget I gave myself to pull this off at Worlds is redonkulous and it's gonna be amazing. Or it'll all break. But we'll see. I'm nervous and excited. And I want to talk more about it, but I'm going to stop myself. Anyway, Gold Squadron out.